Alright guys, uh, here I'm going to show you how to make a tin 2 sulfate solution uh, for tin electroplating. Uh, I've got a mason jar filled uh, most of the way with water and I'm adding uh, sulfuric acid to it. Uh, as far as proportion, uh, it's just like copper 2 sulfate solution. There's four parts water and one part acid. And uh, like I said in a previous video, always add the acid to the water, never the reverse, because uh, it does heat up. Uh, now I'm going to need some electrodes and a tin source. Uh, for this I'm going to use uh, plumber solder. Uh, it's a lead-free plumber solder, so it's 95% tin and 5% silver. Uh, first I take one electrode, uh, and then I'm going to place along the bottom. Uh, this bottom electrode is uh, where the tin is going to enter solution. It's going to be the cathode. Uh, it's going to hook up to the voltage source uh, on the positive side, the red side. Uh, I'm going to make another electrode that goes along the top of, uh, on the surface of the solution. Uh, this is going to act as the anode uh, and connect to the black uh, terminal, the pot or the negative. And uh, you want to separate these so that the uh, metallic tin uh, that enters solution remains along the bottom and uh, just adds, adds to the efficiency. Uh, if you watched a previous video about copper 2 sulfate solution, uh, the tin 2 sulfate solution is the exact same. Um, here we are, I have my battery charger. It's, uh, it's at the 6 volt setting. Uh, I tested it and it's about 5.5 volts. I'm connecting the uh, negative to the top electrode and the positive to the bottom electrode. As you can see, the, uh, the, the anode or the uh, negative terminal is, uh, or the electrode is producing gas. This is hydrogen gas. Um, I will eventually move this setup to a fume hood just to make sure that the hydrogen gas doesn't accumulate. Uh, after about an hour, this is what we get. Got a slightly gray color in the solution, and you know that the solution or that the uh, process is complete once uh, the tin starts collecting on that uh, anode. We've got a lot of uh, precipitate that is uh, sitting along the bottom of the mason jar. Now, when I go to pour this out, uh, you you should be sure to decant it. I end up pouring the whole thing out, and I regret that later uh, when I go to electroplate. Um, because those small chunks of sediment are going to make for an uneven electrocoat. I end up having to uh, filter those 